Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 5th to the 11th of June 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Big news, I have a new layout for the weekly readings, starting with two Moonology Oracles. The weekly reading, I've gone back to what I used to do in the weekends with the quick fire reading before I started full-time work. Um, one card per day for the upcoming week. Each of those cards will be clarified and um, then I finish with the Star Temple Oracle. So right we'll begin Capricorn you get the north node step out of your comfort zone a few people have had this love that trying something different and the disseminating moon take time to breathe out that may be stepping out of your comfort zone Capricorn feel like um, it's a big deal to say I need some space I need some time and it is just taking time to breathe out and it may be something you're not used to. You just go, 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 go. And that may be stepping out of your comfort zone there. But also that time to breathe out may also let you come out of that rejuvenated, rearing to go and rearing to try something different. Right, so 5th to the 11th of June, 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Capricorn. Overall, Four of Swords. Take time to breathe out. Healing. Breathe. Rejuvenate. As I said, a big deal to say I need some space. There's a bit you may be dealing with. Monday, Queen of Swords. Starting the week with a whole different approach towards something or someone. That may be stepping out of your comfort zone, but pretty much look here. This is how it is. This is the way I'm rolling and um, like it or lump it, it may be, but a very direct, brutally upfront and honest um, right there. Tuesday, Princess of Wands. The other side of you is the very compassionate, very giving, willing to share your ideas, your dreams. You're not afraid to say, this is what I want. This is what I expect. And this is what um, I'm going to say, this is what I will get. <laughs> achievements that's called <laughs> Wednesday eight of swords even if it means stepping out of your comfort zone and finding another way around things always say legally and morally but when there's roadblocks after roadblock it may be stepping out detouring taking a different path you hadn't even looked at before but that ultimately leads you to your results Thursday, Four of Pentacles. Feeling like there is something or someone that you're not able to release here. Maybe a contract of some sort you're trying to break free from. Always say it again, legally and morally, but finding those loopholes, finding those other ways in order to release something or someone or somewhere that seems to be holding you back. Friday, Five of Swords. And because like you're still feeling stuck and bound to this energy, it feels like you are banging your head against a brick wall, this battle with the Five of Swords. Not getting nothing but one hell of a headache. But again, stepping out of your comfort zone, finding those detours, and being able to come out with that victory of bypassing around something blocking you. Saturday, Three of Wands. Maybe taking a moment to breathe out, but taking a moment to look at the bigger picture. Okay, Not always directly what's in front of you here, but further up the track here. This is seeing something in a different way, um, a situation, um, someone in a different way, whether it's in a negative way, whether it's in a positive way, you know, the negative way, seeing what it is that's holding you back from moving forward, seeing in the positive way the detours and where they may actually take you. And you finish on Sunday with the hanged one where you're stuck sitting on a fence, hanging around in limbo, 
playing the waiting game here for someone else to make their mind up and this is just also time to heal time to breathe out stepping out of your comfort zone a whole direct different approach a whole different detour here and making a clear decision on what detour you are taking to continue your journey forward wow so capricorn let's clarify everything starting with the four of swords and straight away coming off that the hanged man has flown out of the pack here so the hanged man six of pentacles the lovers soulmate twin flame somebody significant uh, may have connection to a gemini here existing relationship this may be somebody brand new but making sure that it's equal give and take this may be what you're waiting for it may be who you're waiting for but ultimately making sure that things are very balanced here one isn't doing all the giving one isn't doing all the taking which is possibly the whole hanged man energy as well but also that the two of you um, are working in a balanced partnership there monday queen of swords capricorn princess of swords the full nine of cups this whole different approach that you're about to take may seem like a leap of faith stepping out of your comfort zone and jumping into feet and all but you're quite ready for this bring it on you're up for the challenge and let's get things moving because that emotional happiness is there for the taking I always say take it with both hands and run with it it may be this leap of faith that is pushing you forward into that tenth cup as well but you are ready for this love that princess of wands tuesday four of pentacles nine of wands two of wands feel like this is as i said some sort of legal contract or feeling like you're stuck and bound to something you're not able to release yet or someone but this is like a problem shared problem halved princess of wands willing to share your ideas with someone here to help release this energy that you feel like you are left hanging on to that you've overcome a lot of obstacles and it may be take time to breathe out because those obstacles are now behind you and there's nothing holding you back from focusing on where you want to be heading and um, it is about that other other ways around things as I mentioned previously coming into the eight of swords Wednesday king of wands the hermit ace of cups may have connection to a virgo here you know what you want where you want to be who you want to be with ace of cups a new chapter a new beginning this whole detour may put you on a whole different path there's light at the end of the tunnel but this whole different path is the whole stepping out of your comfort zone as we mentioned but again because it's, you're not losing focus of where, where your destiny is it's just the way that you actually get there and there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is this whole new chapter when it comes to love and again it may be a job you love a home you love it may be love love four of pentacles on thursday capricorn the devil your own energy there ten of swords ten of wands glad it came out in that order so may have connection to another capricorn but what it is that you have felt stuck and bound to some sort of negative energy unhealthy energy even toxic energy is finally starting to be released this burden's released of feeling like you're on this journey on your own you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders the painful cycle that you have been through previously where you've had to find other ways around things maybe an addiction of some sort whether it's within whether it's somebody close to you but finally all of this burden is starting to release and this is taking that time to breathe out and this is that whole release of the four of pentacles breaking free from those shackles um, that that devil energy may have been bringing in wow no wonder you need time to breathe out capricorn if that's the case Friday five of swords but let this victory be yours 
Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. And it's why you've been getting a headache, banging your head against that brick wall, because that success has been so close for the taking, but because you feel like you have been pulled in different directions, multiple directions possibly, that things were getting out of control. Um, this is about getting the balance and alignment back into place, whether it's within, whether it's out here, looking at your options and not being overwhelmed by the options. Everyone takes the repeat patterns, the first one that looks good, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe 20 times. But this is about looking at all of the options and working out what's right for you. Sometimes when you're in a darker place um, or you know, you're in this battle and everything, some of these options aren't so obvious and it is digging deep to see what some of them actually hold. I always sound like I'm lecturing. I think I've said that a lot this week. Capricorn, into Saturday, three of wands. And it's exactly seeing the bigger picture, opening your eyes and seeing the options that are there. Um, but also, you know, seeing things that aren't working for you, seeing things that can work for you. Knight of Swords, the Emperor, love it, the Empress. Look at that as an ultimate power couple. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, working together. Okay, very brave, very courageous, very logical and level-headed, and also very intuitive and very aware. And I feel like this is a wake-up moment. That Three of Wands is a wake-up moment to see what's happening here, but also to see the options that you do have here. Not rushing into things. We mentioned the first one that looks good, the repeat patterns. Not rushing into things, opening your eyes and seeing the options, but having the backing of that power couple when you do see the bigger picture. Wow. And Sunday, the hanged one to finish feel like you actually cut yourself free from this. The moon, nine of swords, ten of cups. Sleepless nights, stress, overthinking of things, especially with what's going on at um, midweek here. This is now letting that moon give you all the clarity that you need to see the bigger picture, to see the other options that are there, and um, not letting the stress and um, overthinking of things get on top of you. Easier said than done but it's possibly why you're feeling stuck in limbo because you're trying to still take in everything that's been happening um, around you here. It may have connection to a Pisces, but we said emotional support from that Nine of Cups back there to the Ten of Cups clarifying at the end of the week um, is there for the taking and taking it with both hands and running with it, the happiness, the joy, the emotional energy that comes with that. <coughs> Wow, Capricorn. So let's see what the universe says. Six of Cups, Four of Cups, the Emperor. Feel like there is something or someone from the past that's taken a lot of your time, a lot of your focus, a lot of your energy that you have felt stuck and bound to. And this is now the Emperor again, may have connection to an Aries, um, that logical thinking, getting control of the situation, clearing all of this up and being able to focus on what lies ahead, stepping out of your comfort zone, maybe so, to deal with that past, but to deal with it once and for all and to deal with it legally and morally, as I always say. But this is about being in control of the situation and not letting all of this hold you back. Wow. So Capricorn, let us see what Star Temple Oracle says to finish. I was coming back to that Four of Swords as well overall with the week. It may be a trying week and it may be that you need some time to breathe out. But Capricorn, you get number 14, the lost star, rebirth, out of the darkness into the light. Cannot be much more appropriate or matching to what this reading may bring for some of you. But into the light. Star words, loss, setback, strength. 
You may be feeling lost or defeated as if everything is collapsing and crashing down around you. Don't give up or be disheartened. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You will find your way out of this mess. Electra, the lost star, is here to tell you this setback is only temporary. Know that you can and will overcome any meteor shower headed your way. You will find your heavenly Milky Way once more. This experience has only made you stronger and wiser. Step forward with confidence to be seen, heard and appreciated. Don't dim your light for anyone or anything. Wow, Capricorn. That is what I have for the week. So I do hope it helped. Take, um, take that time to heal when needed. Take that time to breathe out. And thanks for watching. And I will see you all next time. See ya. Bye.